If you want to learn how to fill any shape in Canva with an image, then keep watching. And I really mean any shape, be it elements, images, graphics or photos. Here are some examples of what you can achieve with this method. Now, before I walk you through this 100% free method that works both on Mac and on Windows, I need you to subscribe to my channel, smash that like button and hit the notification bell. Thanks a lot. With that said, let us dive right into it. Chances are that you already watched 5 videos by now on this very same topic, but none of these could actually get you to the desired result. Well, congratulations, you finally found the video that is going to solve this issue for you. So here's how it's done. First of all, look for the shape that you would like to use. This could be anything from elements here, but it could also be a photo. However, if it is a photo, then you will obviously need to remove the background in order for this to work. With that said, if you're a Canva free user, this method here is also going to work. However, Canva's background remover is a Canva Pro feature. So in your case, you would need to make sure to go with an element that actually has no background from the get-go. You can find these kinds of elements here in the Elements tab. And there, as a Canva free user, you just need to make sure that the element that you're choosing doesn't have a crown symbol, because these elements are reserved for Canva Pro users. It's actually the same with photos. For this tutorial here, we're going with this cat shape. So first of all, simply drag and drop that into your project. I'm just going to resize the shape a little bit. And I make sure that it is in the middle, however, this is not really important, because later on you will be able to reposition this shape to your liking, no problem. Now, once you have your shape, you need to understand the following. There is currently no way to do all the necessary steps in Canva. So to get this done, we will need some third-party software. However, in our case, this third-party software is completely free and, as mentioned before, it works on Mac and on Windows. So what we're going to do now is first of all click here on Share in the upper right corner, then click on Download, and we're going to download this as a PNG. Now, if you're a Canva free user, you can download it as a regular PNG without a transparent background. However, we will then need to remove that background. But I, I'm exactly going to show you how to do that in our third party software, which is GIMP. However, if you are a Canva Pro user, then I highly suggest you to tick the option transparent background here before you download, so that when we export the cat, it will have no background at all. For Canva Pro users, this obviously also means that you can skip the step where I'm going to show you how to remove the background of our image in GIMP. With that said, I'm now going to download our cat here. Click on download. Now the next step is we are going to GIMP.org and we are going to download this free and open source image editor. Simply click on download here to do so. Once you have finished downloading GIMP, open it up. Then in the top toolbar, click on file and then on open. Now locate the file that we just downloaded and then click on open. And this is where things get really interesting. We are now going to remove the background of our image. To do so, click on tools in the top toolbar, selection tools, fuzzy select. Now click on windows in the top toolbar and select tool options. You should then see the tool options somewhere on your screen. In my case, they are located here on the left. But they might pop up somewhere else on your screen, just so that you know. Now in this tool options toolbox, make sure that anti-aliasing is ticked as well as select transparent areas, sample merged and diagonal neighbors. And under select by, it should say composite. Now leave the tool options open and hover over the white background of our image. Now please pay very close attention, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. The next step is to left click and hold here on our white background and then drag. Now while you do that, in the tool options box, you will see that the threshold bar moves along with our movement. Now drag to the right until the threshold bar says around 150. Once that is the case, let go of the left mouse button. And you should then see some sort of border around our cat. Now the magic moment, or maybe I should say magical moment, I'm not sure, is approaching. If you're on a Windows PC, to now remove the background simply press the delete key on your keyboard. If you are on a Mac, then press and hold the Fn key on your keyboard and then press backspace to remove the background. Once the background is removed, this is how it should look like. I think this is a good moment to save our document, so go to file here in the top menu and then click on save as 
give this project a name and save. Ok, the first very important step is done. Now, please leave GIMP open and go back to your Canva project. It is now time for us to choose the image that we would like to use to fill our shape. So go to photos in the left toolbar and choose your image. I'm simply going with this lovely cat picture here. Remember to add these photos to your project. You can simply drag and drop it into the project or you can simply click on it and it will be added to the project as well. Once it is added, right click on it and then set image as background so that it fills the whole frame. Once you found the image that you would like to use, give it a name here under page and then in the upper right corner of the screen, click on share, then on download, file type PNG under select pages, make sure to only tick our second page because that's all we need for the moment, click on done and then click on download. Once you have done that, go back to GIMP. Now in the top menu, click on File, followed by Open as Layers. And then locate the image that we just downloaded. And click on Open. You will then notice that here on the right side in the Layers panel, a new layer has been added with our picture. Now the next step for us is we will have to make a clipping mask. To do that here on the right side, right click in this empty area and then click on New Layer Group. A new layer group will then be added here in the layers panel. Now select your image layer here and then left click and drag that into the layer group. And then do the same with our shape layer here. Now in fact our shape layer is on top of our image and that is not what we want. So we have to change that order. So to change the order click on your image layer and drag that on top of the shape layer. Great. And now again here's where the magic happens. Make sure that your image layer is selected here. And then left click and hold here on mode. And then choose screen. And then magically you should see that we now have our image as a fill for our shape. Amazing. Now all that is left for us at this point is to export our amazing creation here from GIMP and then import it to Canva. To do so click on file in the top menu and then click on export as. Give your file a name. And then click on export and click on export again. Now go back to your Canva project, click on uploads in the left toolbar and then click on upload files. Now choose the file that we just exported from GIMP and click on open. Now click on it to add it to your project and I'm simply going to remove our background here for a second. And there you go, we have our amazing cat shape with our custom fill. Isn't that amazing? And that's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. You can do that with literally every shape in Canva, which is just truly awesome. There are a lot of other videos on the internet that try to achieve a similar result. However, all of these have some sort of caveat. One guy, for example, shows you a method that lets you fill custom shapes in Canva as well. However, not with a transparent background. And that obviously comes with a lot of limitations as far as further photo editing goes. Then there is another video about custom frames and shapes in Canva, which actually is great. However, it's not completely free because the method she is showing, first of all, is only working on a Windows PC. And then it is only working if you do have Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint. And these two softwares are obviously not free. So while that method actually delivers the same result as ours here, it is not 100% free. Our method here, however, as you have seen, is 1000% free and works both on Mac and on Windows. I do admit that this method is a little bit tricky, but once you've done that once or twice, it's really simple and can be done really fast. Also, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, if you're still with me, for those of you who have Adobe Photoshop, I would like to show you guys how it can be done there. It's in fact much simpler in Photoshop and will maybe take you something like 40 seconds. So here's how you fill any canvas shape with an image in Adobe Photoshop. First of all, in Canva, make sure to choose the shape that later on you would like to fill with an image in Photoshop. 
Any shape will work here, but you need to have a shape that is on a transparent background. So as a Canva free user, under Elements, choose a shape just as this cat here that is freely available. If it has a crown symbol, remember this is reserved for Canva Pro users. If you are a Pro user, then you can obviously choose here whatever you want, as long as it's just a shape without a background. Also, as a Canva Pro user, you could take a regular picture, right click, set image as background, click on the image, go to edit image, and then use the background remover to remove the background. And then you could also just use this as a shape. However, in our case here now, we will go with something simple. So maybe let's just go with this fish here. I'll just make the fish a little bit bigger. So once you found the shape that you would like to use, in the upper right corner click on share, then on download, and download it as a PNG, and make sure to tick the option transparent background. If you are a Canva free user, you will have to export it without a transparent background because this is a premium option, but as you do have Photoshop, you will be able to remove that background in Photoshop with two simple clicks. With that said, then click on download, and your shape will then download. Now before we go to Photoshop, I'm just going to add a second page here to our project. And under photos, I'm now already going to choose the image that I would like to use to fill our fish shape later on. So I want to fill our fish shape with something a little bit similar. So I will once again under photos search for fish here. And I might just fill it with a lot of small fish, something like that. But yeah, this could be anything. You can fill this shape with whatever photo you want. So, so whatever pleases you here works. Once you have found your image, right click on it, set image as background. Then in the upper right corner, click on share. Then click on download, file type PNG. This time we don't need a transparent background, but under select pages, we will make sure that only this second page here will download. So we only take the second page, click on done, click on download again. So now the image is downloaded as well. Now head over to Photoshop. Click on new file, enter the image dimensions that you need. I'm simply going with 1280 by 720 pixels here. Click on create. The next step for us is to open up the layers menu. To do so in the top menu, click on window and then click on layers. The layers panel will then appear. Now in the top menu, click on file and then click on open. Then click on on your computer and locate the shape that we just prepared a few minutes ago. And then click on open. Now we also need to import our image that we would like to use to fill this shape. This time we are simply going to drag and drop this into our project. So I'll just locate that here in the finder window. That would be this one here. And from there I'm simply going to drag and drop it into my project here. And what happens now is that Photoshop automatically created a new layer for us. So both of these files our shape and our image are now in the same project here and they both show up here in the layers panel. Make sure that your image is on top of your shape here in the layers panel. That is important. If that is not the case, you can simply left click on the layer and then drag it around. So like this, you can change the order. And as you can see, our shape is now stacked on top of our image, which is not what we want. So we will revert that back just like that. Now there is only one simple step left to make this work. And that is to create a clipping mask on our image layer here. To do so, here in the layers panel, right click on your image and then simply click on create clipping mask. And just like that, we have an awesome fish shape with a lot of fish in it. How ironic. Now all that is left for us to do is to go to file, then export, export as, Make sure here in the upper right corner that the format is PNG and that transparency is ticked. Click on export, enter a name, save, then go back to Canva. I'm just going to delete that page for a second here. Go to uploads, upload your file. There you go. Amazing. You can now obviously add whatever you want in the background. So maybe I would like to have some nice reef here in the background. So I will simply drag and drop that into the project. Now I click on my background. I go into edit image. I go under adjust. I click here on see all. I will blur this background a little bit. Then I click on my fish. I'm actually going to de-blur the fish to make it pop out more. For that purpose, you can also use the blur fader, but instead of dragging it to the right, simply drag it 
to the left to actually sharpen your image. That's a really nice hack everybody should know. And as you will see, this will greatly increase the presence of our fish here on the image. That's obviously just a very random example of what you can do after you have created your masterpieces. And that's it guys, you did it, amazing. If you're interested in Canva design hacks, I highly suggest you to also watch the next video on my channel where I will present to you the 30 greatest Canva hacks of all time. Also make sure to subscribe and smash that like button.